Hi friends, I have a little homeschool program and I wanted to show you what we did for our outer space unit. Um, I will share the links for some of the books that we used um, below and um, a couple of the puzzles. I only have one of the puzzles here. This is a uh, both sides. Um, you can do it on either side um, because I already gave the other one to my grandson. But anyhow, um, what we do is we look, of course, on the internet like everybody does. And then we take the different ideas and we combine them into our own ideas. <laughs> so one of the things that we made, um, we happen to have, well, stickers of the planets. So we put them on a headband because we had seen like um, a solar system headband. And then we also saw one on the internet that showed um, aliens. So... <laughs> We added alien eyes to the tops, and this one won't fit me, see? <laughs> because this one belongs to my grandson. Um, and then another thing that we made is we found this idea, oh, I don't have a picture of that. Um, they used paper and little rocks on a paper plate with a brad, and I decided, to make a solar system, I decided to use a giant puff ball, and I, um, glued it, hot glued it to a brad, the top of the brad before the kids came because I had a, a pretty good sized group that day. Um, and we used rice. Um, and I used, instead of paper, I used Crayola Magic to make the planets ahead of time because I had a large group of kids. If, depending on the kids' ages, maybe they could make them and then make this the next day. But in my case, I made all the planets. I had planned on just using different size puff balls um, that represented each planet. But when I went to the store, I couldn't find all of them that I needed. So <laughs> I decided to make planets. Um, and um, afterwards, I went to another store. I hadn't planned to go to another store or I would have looked first. And they had every puff ball known to mankind and half of them were on clearance sale for 24 cents a bag. So you can either take the crazy route or the puffball route or the easy, easy route and use um, circles of paper for each planet. But anyhow, we had a lot of fun making that. They painted the plate and put the stars with a Q-tip and white paint on there and then we let it dry and then later on we put it together. It was a lot of fun and we reviewed the names of the planets. Another thing that we did, which was a <laughs> Also, I loved this. The kids had so many um, creative planets. I had them um, paint their own planet, whatever they thought this should be, and they could even name it if they want. Mine was Planet Purple. And then um, I had seen this um, idea on the internet, and so we modified it a little bit. And we used a trapezoid and then like sort of a boat shape. And we um, just did, we did their four fingers and let them pick colored eyeballs to put them on their handprints. So we made their handprints ahead of time. And then I kind of cut them out like the shape of the spaceship. And then they put it together. So this was a couple days in the process. And we gave them each three stars if they wanted them. And then they could go crazy up here too. And some of them did, but this one's the only one that I have left around uh, because they all took them home. Um, so anyhow, um, the only other thing we did, I don't even have a sample of, but I'll show you. We took this idea um, that we found on the internet for fathers. Um, and it says like, Dad, I love you to the moon and back. And we thought it was really cute. Um, and since fathers get ripped off a little bit for Father's Day not being whenever they're in school, so they don't get as many um, cute homemade projects. Um, we just took it and instead of doing it that way, um, we had them put their handprint directly on the black paper where I put um, yellow, orange, and red paint. And then I kind of like moved it together a bit to make it look like the flames. We put that right on the black paper. And then I just cut out a shape like this for the rocket and put it on. And then whenever it was all dry, we all got together and I gave them stickers and ideas, markers, crayons, um, other pieces of paper that they could cut and they decorated them for their dads. And we just typed out or wrote out um, the words and glued it on because we didn't have a white 
paint marker to, to write it directly on the paper like the people with the sample did. <laughs> so anyhow, those are our ideas. And like I said, I'm going to post below um, my link of the videos I used from YouTube, um, the link for any of the um, books. I think I can find them. And the link for the puzzles that we used. And we just had a great time. So anyhow, talk to you later. Bye. Happy outer space exploring.